Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name. You feel me? All right, so look. In this video, we're going to talk about the $100,000 job. Everybody who's watching this channel, I ain't going to say everybody watching this channel, but a lot of people watching this channel, especially when I be talking about making $100,000 or six-figure salary from an accounting degree or the best jobs to make six figures, when I get to talking about this stuff, man, people have all sorts of mixed reactions, okay? People saying that they got their accounting degree and they're nowhere close to a six-figure salary. People saying accounting don't make any sense. They can't seem to figure it out. They don't see any of these amounts that I be talking about. And I keep showing this is where you find the job. This is how you get the job. This is what this says. This is what this... I'm doing everything I can here. OK, there are people who have hundred thousand dollar jobs and are still telling people they are not in hundred thousand dollar jobs. Understand what I'm saying. OK, you land a GS. Hold on, because I'm going to use the government, the GS, the GS jobs as an example, because I mainly tell people about getting a federal job or doing government contracts. If you're an accountant, I don't know much about private sector. I have not been in the big four. I have not ever worked for a um, regional firm or a uh, tax practice. I've never done tax as an accountant, as a profession. That is not my, I don't know, I don't know much about that, right? Those accountants that I do know who do tax, the, the few accountants that I actually know who do tax, they still make six figures. But I don't know how fast that transition is. None of that stuff. OK, none of that stuff. I don't know. I don't uh, have any real personal connection to anybody working for the big four or anything. All right. But I do know government accounting. OK. All right. I was a member of the AGA, which is the Association for Government Accountants. I've been doing government accounting for seven years or so, six or seven years. I am I am well versed in the industry. I know a lot of people who do government accounting. I am currently doing government accounting and I have done government accounting on multiple levels and sizes and different organizations, okay? I know this space, all right? So, when I'm talking about people sitting in $100,000 jobs, right? And they're telling people, they're in $100,000 accounting jobs and they are telling people they are not in a hundred thousand dollars or they can't figure out how to get to a hundred thousand dollars let me dive into that because there has to be i have to say this for the people who don't understand because you'll you'll see me saying one thing and then somebody will say oh i did that and i'm not you know i'm not in a hundred thousand dollar job let me show you because sometimes when i get to Talking to people like, yo, tell me your situation. They get to tell me their situation. I'd be like, wait, wait a minute. You you are in a six-figure job. And they're like, I mean, yeah, but I mean, yeah, but like still. It's it's like, wait, the whole point is for people who are trying to find six-figure jobs, and you go on and you tell people. You're not making you're well, you're not in a six figure job because there is a difference between being in a six figure job and making six figures. There is a difference. And I'm going to explain what the difference is. So hold on. Let me pull up this pay chart real quick. Let me pull up this pay chart real quick for the Atlanta, Georgia area. Now, I'm speaking on the Atlanta, Georgia area. If you live somewhere that's a small town, they don't make as much. I'm currently down here in Tampa. Now, 
the GSs down here in Tampa don't make as much as they do in Atlanta. See, there's there's locality adjustments like Miami gets paid a lot more than the GSs would down here. I personally would not want a GS job down here unless it's just helping me to get my grades or something. But ideally, whatever the GS grade is here, I'd want to do that in Atlanta. I'm in a different situation because I'm working as a contractor. Um, so on private sector in a way doing government accounting. So it's just a little different. All right. But let's look at Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. Let me make sure this is the right year. Okay. 2024 in Atlanta. All right. So if you landed a GS 12, if you landed a GS 12, Let's say you was a 7, 9, 11, 12, right? You started out as a 7 and you end up getting to a GS-12, right? You get to GS-12. There's GS-12s who, who may feel like, uh, I'm not quite making 100,000. I'm making 91,000. So GS-12 starts at 91,897, right? Now, the salary range is... $91,000 to $119,000. If you land the GS-12, all you got to do is go to work. You're going to hit $100,000. It's going to take you a couple years, but let me see. It starts at ninety one. So one year after you, one year after that, you hit your step two, which is $94,000. Step three, you'll hit your step three of your second year. Well, your second year anniversary, so you'll be at ninety eight thousand, and then going to step four. I don't know if it takes. Let me see. I think it takes. Yeah, another year you'll be at your step four, and your step four would put you at one hundred one. Now, it's actually be higher than that. But if you just took this chart and you say, okay, in three years, I'll be making six figures. I'll be making $100,000 in three years once, I'm get, once I get the GS-12. If I don't get a pr promotion to 13, you can go to 13. Once you do one year as a 12, you can jump straight up to a 13, find another job, compete for it. And 13 starts, GS-13 starts at 109000 in Atlanta, Okay. So, or you can say, you know what, I'm going to just stay a GS-12 and I'm going to be a GS-12 for the next three, four years. And I'm going to still hit $100,000 without having to compete no matter what, right? This position goes up to $119,000. It'll take you several years to get there. But also remember, there's a cost of living adjustment every year, right? So every year is going up. I think last year went up 5% or went up 5% this year from the previous year. And I think it... Then they propose a 2% raise, which is not much. So if you're making 100000 that's like 102000 the following year. It's not much. But you also have these step increases. And so if you land a GS-12 and you're in Atlanta, that's a six-figure job. You only got a couple years to get there. You're going to hit $100,000. In four to five years, you got no, like, even if you don't do well at your job and they just say, you know what? You did average. You, you was okay. You, you ain't got to be the best there. You, you may not get a promotion if your position isn't in a promotable position. Like you may be a straight 12, right? A GS 12 will is a six figure job. It's a six figure job as a GS 12. Now, when you start as a GS-7 and you're in a 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, like many accountants are. Accountants, especially auditors at OIGs, typically typically G, uh, OIG, which is Office of Inspector General, goes to GS-13. And if you're just getting out of college and you start out as a GS-7, right, as a recent graduate, they'll take you to a GS-13. Now, you have the potential to promote to a GS-13. Let me see. Goes from 7 to 9 after one year, 9 to 11 after one year, 11 to 12 after one year, 12 to 13. You have the potential to hit GS-13 in four years, which is the difference of, let's go back to the, the salary uh, chart. 
A GS7 in Atlanta starts. Now remember, we're talking like fresh out of college, right? You you 22, 23, right? You're a recent graduate, which means that you're in a non-competitive position. They're gonna train you, they're gonna bring you up through the ranks. You start out at 51,000 as a GS7. You move to GS9 the next year, that's at 63. That's a $12,000 raise in one year. The next year you're a GS11. So that's a $13,000 raise from GS9 to GS11. So now you're at, so you was a, you started out as a seven. One year later, you're a nine. Next year, in two years, you're a GS11 making 76000 in two years, right? So in three years, you'll move to a GS12, which starts at 91000 So you'll go from, 76,000 to 91,000. That is a $15,000 raise. You ain't got to do nothing but your job and make sure you do your job and you can promote to 91,000 in three years. Seven, nine, 11, 12. In three years, you've gone from making 51,000 to 91,000. That is $40,000 difference in three years. Understand what I'm saying. Now, if you're a position, if you're a 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, you could be in a 7, 9, 11, could be in a 7, 9, 11, 12. But like I was saying, there are positions that go 7, 9, 11, 12, 13. I landed one. OK, I am proof that it can go that that you can land one because I did it. OK. All right. So now if you go from a GS 12, say if in your fourth year, you promote the GS 13. In G, at GS13, it starts at 109. So in four years, you go from making 51,000 to 109,000 in four years. So let's say you were 22 out of college. Let's say you start your job at 23. At 27, you could be making 109,000. Now you've been making money the whole time. Seven and some thousand, nine and some thousand. Now you're at 109,000. In four years, this is absolutely possible. Now, once you get to GS13, GS13 in Atlanta starts at 109 and it goes up to 142,000. So if you never get another job, you can make 142,000 a year. Not that's And this is not including inflation, like the, the cost of living adjustments every year and stuff like that. But this is just saying what it is right now. It's 142,000 for a GS13. If you just so if you land that one job as a GS 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, you just landed a hundred thousand dollar job, a hundred and almost hundred and fifty thousand dollar job. You just have to f go through the motions, it take you a couple years to get the experience and stuff like that because you don't even know how to use a copy machine yet. You know what I'm saying? So now, one year as a GS 13, you are eligible to apply for a GS 14. Right now, that's up to you. However you decide. Some people say, you know what? No, nah, I'm going to just stay at 13. Some people say, no, nah, I'm just stay at GS 12. Some people say, no, nah, I'm just stay at GS 11. I'm cool. But if you so choose so, you do one year as a GS 13. And I don't know a lot of people who did this, but there are people who did this. They went from a GS 7 to a GS 14 in five years. In five years. Now, GS14 starts at $129,000. So to start out at $51,000, and in five years, you're making $129,000. Now, GS14 goes all the way up to $167,000. Now, I know a bunch of people who are GS13, 14s. Well, maybe they were 14s and then they took a 13, but they was already making 14 money. So they had to keep them all the way stepped out. I know a ton. I know a ton of people making 150,000 a year and they're teleworking, but they have and, and they're doing accounting work. OK. But one hundred thousand dollars, you could absolutely do one hundred thousand dollars. Now, GS 15, GS 15. So one year as a GS-14, you are eligible to promote to GS-15. 
Now, of course, they're looking for top candidates and people who was on their business, you know what I mean, and not afraid to move around and get their grades up because it's, it's GS positions all over the world, right? And so sometimes they might be have some hard to fill vacancies. And if you're willing to go to, you know, a certain place, it's a guy I was just talking to, he's getting ready to go to Colorado or they're getting ready to stand up some new um, organizations or something like that and they need bodies. And you like, look, I've already been a 14. I did it well. I'm ready for a 15. So in six years, from being a GS, from when you started as a GS7, making 51000 you can be, you can land, it's possible, a GS15 in five or six years. So six years. Set, you start out as a 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In six years. In six years. And GS15, so gs Seven starts at fifty one thousand. GS fifteen in six years is a. It starts at a hundred and fifty one thousand. So it's a hundred thousand dollar difference. A hundred thousand dollar difference. GS fifteen goes from one fifty one to one ninety one. Okay. If you stay in that position, you ride it all the way out for your whole career. GS fifteen currently tops out at a hundred and ninety one thousand a hundred and it's definitely going to be over two hundred thousand by the time you go from a gs7 to a gs15 i guarantee it it's going to probably be over a hundred uh two hundred thousand in the next i'd say three years it won't take three years as long as they keep because it's capped because of i think like Congress pay or something like this. Like they don't want them to make more than Congress or something like that. So maybe they ain't going to go over that because of the cap or whatever. But right now it will hit 191,000. 191,000. Just saying. Just saying. I just did this video to kind of try to further explain how this process goes. Anyway, right now you're watching Casino is the name. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you find any value in this video, please let me know. All right? Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a message. Send me an email. Whatever. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Shout. Yeah, hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.